If you're looking for something to do on your Saturday afternoon, you might want to take a walk through the Red River Market. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner is live in the downtown area where it will all be happening to give us a preview. Hi, Abby. Good morning, Lisa. Yeah, I'm here in downtown Fargo on the corner of 4th Avenue North and Broadway, right across from Insomnia Cookies, where the Red River Market is going to be getting underway tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I'm here with Simone Y, who is the coordinator for this event. So what can people expect tomorrow when they come out bright and early? Yeah, well, along with 70 local vendors from all within 200 miles of Fargo, um, people will be able to enjoy live music um, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., um, educational programming, activities for kids, um, hot food, and more. And uh, you can get market money. What can people use that market money for? Well, they can use it as a gift, um, or if they don't have a cash on them. Um, not all of our vendors take credit cards. So you can buy market money at our booth. Um, it's good for ever at the market um, and they can use it at any booth. That's so that's so nice yeah. because yeah not a lot of people might not have cash. Yeah, not, not these days. <laughs> not these days, correct. But are there going to be any new vendors you guys have this year? Yeah, absolutely. We have some great new produce vendors, including uh, Nurture Plains Farms, um, which is new. Um, so we're excited to welcome those. But I'm excited for a lot of the new hot food, including Mexican food. Uh, we'll have Philly cheesesteaks, new gelato vendor as well. And you also have little totes that people can buy, and you have some that are insulated as well. Yeah, so it'll be 90 degrees tomorrow. Um, so to keep those veggies fresh, we've ha we have cooler totes available at our booth, and as long along with our regular canvas totes. So from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., you'll want to come down to the Red River Market here on the corner of 4th Avenue and Broadway to support some local farmers. Sounds great. Abby Birchner reporting live for us this morning. Thank you. Let's get our answer now. To